Yo, what's going on guys? This is Chan Lives here and today I'm back with another video and it, today is actually a different video and it's going to be a maybe a new series on my channel where I basically just tell some story times. I don't have many story times to tell because you know my life isn't that interesting. I haven't had that many experiences. I'm 16. I mean I have a bunch of little experiences that I could tell but like nothing enough to make an entire YouTube video out of it, but this happened in sixth grade, and it is just the funniest, and I mean, you, some may say it's embarrassing, but in my eyes, I don't really get embarrassed almost at all, and unless if it's like something crazy, but like this isn't anything crazy, this was just something funny, and like literally no regrets on this. So anyways, let's just get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this new story time like type series that I might end up making because I have a couple ideas on a couple more uh, story times. So anyways, let's get into it. Yeah, and I also kind of forgot to add, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this um, massive, massive nuclear choke in the background of this video. That doesn't really have anything to do with this, but like, dude this choke was so bad i i genuinely am so happy i have the sound off because i raged so much after this but anyways i had this sixth grade teacher who was actually my science and i believe my yeah my science and english teacher at the time her name i just because she was the dopest teacher ever i'm gonna actually disclose her name it was mrs galelli i will never forget it this teacher was i don't know first second but probably my first and favorite teacher i will ever have so miss galelli like i said she was an english teacher and i was I was in English class and at the time we were doing Romeo and Juliet and we needed to make some like some like love letter acting as Romeo or if you're a girl acting as Juliet and um, I think I'm a guy so I decide to write my letter on Romeo and so I'm in class doing my own thing writing this letter trying to get a hundred on this grade and my teacher calls me over and she's like Nicholas um no she will she didn't say Nicholas she said Nick I have a great idea and at the time I had a pretty serious relationship with this one girl for the sake of the story I'm not going to disclose her actual name I just disclosed Miss Galelli's because she's freaking dope and like everyone needs to know about her but I'm not going to disclose her name so I'm um, let's just say her name is Grace so I had this girlfriend named Grace and everyone knew about me and grace dating or hanging out especially miss Galilee. i don't know why but she was always like that she was like those one of those teachers that's like in on all the drama and like relationships that's happening in the raid and all the students even knew about the relationship obviously it was like the number one relationship in the entire school at the time so she calls me over to her desk and says nicholas i have a great idea how about you write a letter to Grace as Romeo, dress up as a king. I don't know what I don't know why I'm dressing up as a king because last time I checked, Romeo was a fucking garden gnome, not no not no king in a uh, royal palace or anything like that. And Miss Galelli says I would be like I would just walk into her class without anybody knowing, not the teacher, not any of the students, not even her. Nobody knows about this. I would just walk into Grace's class and just and just start saying the love poem or whatever the project was really about. And I was like, no, there's no way I'm doing this. And she was like, come on, it would be funny. I was like, I'm going to need something like you're going to have to give me like a hundred or something at least a hundred and like maybe even a hundred on another grade. So after a couple minutes of me and Miss Gulelli talking back and forth and like a couple of the students getting in like the middle of the conversation like you're not even supposed to be in our, this conversation. This is an A B conversation so see your way out of here. Oh my god that was such a middle school type thing to say. 
but yeah so some students were getting involved and i actually really didn't care the only thing i really cared about is the students that were like nagging on and telling me to do it some students were actually like there's no way i would do this like nick i don't even think you should do this and so me and miss Galilee ended up making an agreement if she writes the poem which was actually probably a bad idea because it's probably it was i can't remember the exact poem from now but it was probably a really cringy poem i i so wish i had the video still because miss galoli didn't follow me to the classroom she had one of the other students record me while i'm talking and saying the poem to grace but we'll get into that later so as mrs galoli is writing down my poem for me to go and bombard into grace's classroom without any consent from the teacher or anything just completely interrupt the lesson she tells me go get the um costume bin or something like that she had like some weird costume bin with like a bunch of hats capes all that so she tells me to go get the costume bin and i'm like okay i'm i'm actually going to be dressing up for as a king for Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, like, last time I checked, I said this earlier, but I cannot get this out of my head, last time I checked, Romeo was a garden gnome, I don't think he was a king, but she just wanted it to be funnier, I get it, I like humor, so does she, so, I end up dressing up as king, I have, like, this crown on, I have a cape, and, um, I think I have, like, an, I have, like, a red shirt on under the cape or something like that, and then Miss Galelli literally pulls a freaking rose, like like a fake rose out of her desk and just hands it to me and was like, oh yeah, you can give this to her also. I'm like, oh, you are really doing the most right now, aren't you? Obviously, I didn't actually say that, but like she kind of was doing the most, but I mean, I'm getting a free 100, really. All I gotta do is say a couple words to my girlfriend and yeah okay yeah actually it's not really free at all but that really didn't really help oh, yeah that really didn't really okay good english nick but that really didn't matter because i was i knew it was going to be funny and i i knew it was going to be like a like a memory that i was going to remember for a long time and clearly i'm 16 now and what was i freaking 11 10 at the time no no i was probably like 12 actually that doesn't matter so there's about 15 minutes left in the class period and mrs Galelli is just about done with the poem and i'm already dressed up as king you already know your boy's already ready to go go on the spotlight so she hands me this poem and she sends a student um let's just say the student's name was um cherry all right so we have grace and cherry so cherry's following me to grace's classroom wow all this making up names is really confusing me but like so cherry is following me behind um with a camera and like we're literally sprinting down the middle school hallway i'm dressed as a king my cape is flopping everywhere it literally i don't even know what it looked like but it probably looked weird so we're, as we're running down miss Lily, being the awesome and funny teacher that she is she just starts, walks out of her room and screams run you don't have much time like obviously we had 15 minutes like 10 15 minutes so we had enough time I don't know what she was saying she was try probably just trying to be funny but i like no, i don't even think i knocked on the door i just barged into the door looked at the classroom i seen my cousin and all i the first thing i see is my cousin and he just looks at me just just n nods his head and is like what are you doing and I, I literally like mouth and i'm like i don't even know and then I see a bunch of people. I, th this class was full. It was about like 30 kids. And I was like, oh, I was not expecting this. And of course, of course, Grace had to be on the other side of the classroom. So I needed to, not only did I need to say a poem saying how much I freaking love her in the middle of a class dressed up as a king, but I also needed to walk 
to the other side of the classroom and don't forget I have that plastic rose that I need to give her so I ended up just placing it on her desk looking at her and like not even saying anything just looking down at my paper and just start saying the poem that's it that's all I did and I just realized I need to go film another uh, gameplay so let's uh, do that so like I said, I have no idea what the poem was even about. All I know is that it was a love letter from Romeo and Juliet or something along those lines. And um, that's pretty much it from the story. I just read the poem. I don't even think I said a word to the teacher after. Like I just looked at the teacher and like I think I just left. I don't even... Like, me and, me and, what's her name? Yeah, Cherry. Yeah, me and Cherry just started laughing and walking out the room. And, like, I, I looked at everyone in the class and they just all looked so genuinely confused. It was so funny. So, basically, that's been the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see another story time video, I have, I have a good amount of stories that I can tell. And this summer, I'll probably have a lot more stories. Because if you don't know, you probably don't know. Uh, I'm going to South Carolina for the summer. I currently live in New York, but I'm for most of the summer, I'm going to be in South Carolina. So I'm sure I'll probably get a couple experiences that I could probably tell on the channel here and there. So anyways, if you guys do enjoy, smash that like button. If I get enough likes on this video, I'm not even sure how much I should ask for. But if I get a decent amount of likes on this video, I'll do another one of these. And... I'll try to explain it better. I don't you you guys know I'm brand new with this story time stuff. I'm literally voiceovering it when I probably shouldn't be doing that. I should probably be talking into it by stream by my Twitch stream, but I'm not. Anyways, if you guys haven't already, drop a sub and also sub to my boy Fizz's um I play with him daily. I didn't play with him in this because I'm recording these games or like four in the morning and physics went to bed at like two in the morning like fucking bum i know anyways let's uh just look at this four piece that i got and uh that'll be the video so see you guys deuces i know i just didn't say deuces okay yeah that's how you know um yeah i'm turning into fucking morgues aren't i